a video review of what is rumored to be one of the most lit adults only party resorts in Montego Bay, Jamaica. I'm talking about the real Montego Bay, y'all. I'm Deja G, owner of the Frankation Travel Experience, and I post a lot of travel vlogs, hotel reviews, and lifestyle content. Today, I am going to give you all the tea about the Rio Montego Bay, especially if you're considering a stay there in the future. We're going to talk about food, drinks, entertainment, staff. We are also going to take a tour of the room, grounds, the parties, the pools. At the end, I will rate this hotel and let you know if it is worth your coins. So let's get into it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better mm -hmm. I don't fit So let's get into the location This hotel is located about 10 minutes away from the airport Once you hop in the shuttle, you do not have a long ride to get to the resort And once you get there, the lobby is gorgeous uh, Our check-in process was very easy, it was very quick and we didn't have to wait, which was very exciting because we did get there pretty early. I believe check-in is four o'clock PM. It's either three or four. And I think we got there around one and our room was already ready. The hotel is pretty easy to navigate. Um, all of the buildings, there are like separate individual buildings. They are labeled with the building number. We were in building four, which unfortunately was pretty much at the back of the resort. Now. It was a hike, y'all. And when we got there, they told us that there wasn't an elevator, okay? And we had bags, all right? So we had to carry our bags up two flights of stairs, which was a lot. I still refuse to believe that there isn't an elevator in this building, but who am I? I don't know. Um, I do know that other buildings do have elevators. So if that is something that is important to you, I highly recommend that you let the front desk know when you check in that you need to be placed in a building that has an elevator. We had a garden view room. Um, you have like the bottles that hang over the mini bar area. So you can make drinks in the room yourself, which is pretty cool. We had was a king bed and the bed was comfortable. The bathroom was clean. Everything, the layout of the room was great. Another thing that they did different at this resort is they switched up the uh, decor. And I think they did an excellent job. It's more of a boho chic vibe, I would say. Um, and it's very modern, which is awesome because I think the Ryu has a tendency, like their rooms have a tendency to be very dated looking. Um, they're very simple. You're not gonna get luxurious like vibes when you walk into a Ryu room. However, I think they did an excellent job with making sure that these rooms felt very, very comfortable, but at the same time, modern and updated. Our balcony was a nice size. We had a great view. I, I mean, when I say the palm trees, every time I would walk past this certain area at the resort, I would be like, wow, it's just so beautiful. And so for that reason, I just think if you're looking for like a resort that has um, that picturesque outdoor space where you can just like feel like you're in paradise, the Rio Montego Bay is definitely the hotel for you. Now, after we checked into our room, we did go down to grab some lunch. We just missed lunch by six whole minutes. But the cool thing about this hotel is even once the lunch buffet closes, they do have a mini buffet area where you can still grab food. So I was relieved about that, but I was disappointed that I didn't get a chance to get like the full lunch, you know, like a full buffet style lunch because your girl was hungry. We have been traveling the entire day. But the mini buffet did hold me over, so I can say that for a fact. We also did go to one of the gift shops. I don't think you would believe me if I told you that the sunblock was $30, okay, for one little bottle of sunblock. And so I do caution that everything is very expensive in their gift shop. However, they do have pretty much any and everything that you could possibly need if you left it at home, which is awesome, including clothes. I mean, they had some really, really cute swimsuits in there too. So after that, we did go down to the pool bar and we had an amazing time. The entertainment staff was um, doing some different pool games at the time. And I thought their entertainment staff overall throughout our entire stay was pretty solid. I did feel like the entertainment 
was a little watered down compared to what I'm used to at a Ryu. Uh, they got started a little later in the afternoon and then they weren't out as long like with all the games and the music and everything like that. But when they were playing games and everything, the energy was amazing in the crowd. My husband was dancing his heart out. I feel like when they were around, it was five stars. But when they weren't, it was just like, okay, now what? And I was expecting their entertainment to be like on 10, like the whole time, which is what I'm used to. So I'm not saying that because I feel like I was expecting something that was just like too much. I've been to a lot of these type of resorts and I feel like their staff just operated at a very sh in a very short time frame compared to the others. Nighttime entertainment was also good, but it was pretty standard for what you can expect. I've experienced a lot of Ryu party events at other resorts. I'm talking in Cabo, DR, and now in Jamaica. And I would have to say, which I am so surprised about, I felt like Jamaica had the corniest neon party, guys. And I know I was expecting it to be like, a whole vibe and don't get me wrong people were having a good time but when I think about like some of the parties I've experienced in Cabo and DR this was like light work where they kind of lost me at the neon party in Jamaica was the music the music was not I, I want to say it wasn't all that inclusive <laughs> feel like for it to be in Jamaica they didn't play enough Jamaican music whereas I feel like when I go to DR they play all of the reggaeton and I feel like they went from one extreme to the next so we're going from Spice Girls to like dancehall it was no like in between like can I get some Taylor Swift to a nice little beat <laughs> like they were trying to cater to a certain audience and it was not me that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So yeah, that neon party, I just couldn't get into it. And it could have just been the time that we were there. Maybe we just went the wrong week. Maybe the next week it was super lit. I don't know, the potential was there though. So I would not cross this hotel off your list because of that one thing. So now let's get into the customer service. So like I said, when we checked in, we got our room right away. Customer service was great. The front desk staff was great, very helpful. Um, all of the bar staff was excellent. They made some outstanding drinks. We had a really good time partying with the bartenders and they were quick. You know, it wasn't like a long wait for drinks or anything like that. I think that is one of the most advantageous things. I feel like in Mexico too, the bartenders are pretty good and speedy. I've been to other countries like Antigua, for example, where the bartender staff, like their customer service was really, really bad and it did taint my experience. So in Jamaica, I feel like overall, their bar staff is always probably their secret sauce, okay? That's always like what keeps the party going and keeps everyone having a great time. We also did go down to the beach. No, Montego Bay does not have the best beach in Jamaica. However, for the, the size, which was, it was a small beach, for the size and for what it was, I feel like it, the water was clean, sort of. Um, but yeah, we did get in the water a couple of times and it's, it's really interesting because they have a lot of folks who are on like uh, paddle boards in the water and they're selling things. And I think it's because, and I could be wrong, but I do think it's because the beach area closer to the resort is private. And so they're not able to be on the beach, but they can be in the water because that's public. So they're able to sell their goods as long as you come into the water to purchase them. One of the other really cool things about this hotel is if you're into like going on like a sunset booze cruise or a daytime booze cruise, they have a dock right there. So you can take a catamaran right out from the resort. You don't have to get in a taxi to do it. And to me, that is uber convenient. As I stated before, this hotel is huge. There are 800 rooms and they have five pools and one of the main like the main party pool is the pool that has a swim up bar the other pools don't have a swim up bar but you do have options to kind of like if you want to just chill and you don't want to be in the mix you can go chill at one of the other four pools everyone would congregate at the same place like you know because everyone's in the water and they want to be up at the pool and one of the days 
uh, someone actually, I guess, got drunk and threw up in the pool, which shut down the entire party pool for the rest of the day. Now, this is not the first time that this has ever happened at a Ryu. This has actually happened quite a few times that I've traveled to Ryu's. And I hate to say that, but I guess people be getting it in, okay? But when that happens, typically we'll either go to the other pool bar or we'll go to the beach. So, you know, I just was disappointed that there wasn't another pool bar to go to. It kind of just ended the party and they, they tried to move it over. Um, they do have an outdoor bar, like, style place, but I didn't see any events actually happen there but their entertainment staff did try to move the party over there for a short time ready 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 here we go squat into it We're but it was just kind of like the crowds just dispersed and no one really gathered in that area they did the dances for a while but then no one really like stayed over there but that was kind of a bummer because like one of the days we were only at the pool for a little while before everything got shut down now the other thing is food so the food is good was it great not necessarily we did eat at one a la carte restaurant it was the asian restaurant and my husband always laughs when i say that the ryu has specialty buffets not a la carte restaurants but you know potato potato whatever you know there's no need to like Get too far into it i just want you to know that if you're going there expecting like a five-star dining experience that is not what you're going to get at their all um, a la carte restaurants however you will get a nice experience now if you go to other a la carte restaurants like the steakhouse and i believe the italian restaurant also you can order off the actual menu so we never made it to the steakhouse because every single time we attempted the line was just so ridiculously long and one thing about me is I do not like standing in line on vacation. Like, I am good. I am good. If it's a line, it's for somebody else. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. I'm not. I am not beat. But the crazy thing is one night we went to the buffet and we had to stand in line for the buffet. And I was like, whoa, where where they do that at? Where, where they do that at? Um, but yeah, we had got there just slightly early. So I'll give them a pass for that one. I, I want to say the buffet opened at 6 and maybe we got there at like 5.55. So if there was a line for that reason only, I'm here for it because yeah, we were just early. But standing in line for the steakhouse every day, like I am not doing that. And they don't take reservations. So you can only put your name on the list and wait till they call you. So there's benefits in that, you know, so you, you know, back in the day they used to make you do reservations and you would have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning to be the first one down to get in line, to get your name on the list. And ain't nobody got time for that either. So, so at least now you can just walk up to the restaurant and you know, you have the flexibility of just putting your name on the list and then just walking away. They'll, they'll call you, they'll give you a little buzzer and then they'll call you when your table is ready. But overall, I would say their food is like a three and a half. Um, it was good, just not, great you know but it was good now the drinks the shots listen like i said i love the bartenders at the ryu i don't know what type of training they go through versus bartenders at other hotels but whatever it is it's amazing because they make all the best shots all the best drinks and i feel like the liquor is good liquor it's not super top shelf premium liquor but it's good and all of the drinks are really really good a solid four stars for drinks and I would get five if it was just all premium liquor but it's not and and I don't expect it to be because that's not what I paid for if I'm paying premium prices of course I'm going to expect premium liquor but because like I said this is like a club level category hotel so um, you know you get what you pay for but at the same time I think you get a great value when it comes to their drinks we didn't go to the spa on this trip however we did go to the gym and the gym was very small uh once again for a hotel that has 800 rooms i would expect a more grand gesture when it comes to the gym okay and i was not blown away by their gym but i just felt like it was it got really crowded really fast and when we first walked in it was packed by the time we left the crowd had kind of died down a bit so that was nice but that hope that gym was just not was not in the top for me. It was a solid two out of five. And I'm only gonna say a two because they had equipment. I'm just gonna give them a pass because they had equipment. So all in all, 
would I recommend the Rio Montego Bay? I know that's what everyone wants to know. No, just joking. But yes, I would absolutely recommend this hotel um, in a heartbeat. I think this is a great hotel for friends, for couples, for singles, for everyone. You cannot go wrong. And if you're looking for an adults only resort where you can relax, but you can also party, this is probably the best place to do it. In addition, I feel like it's centrally located for excursions. So you can get to Ocho Rios and also Negril within the same time frame. They're about like an hour and a half to two hours each direction. Versus if you stay all the way out in Ocho Rios to get to Negril, it's gonna take you like three and a half hours. You know what I mean? So I think the Rio Montego Bay is an excellent option for anyone looking to book a vacation to Montego Bay and they want an adults only experience that's also um, party friendly. I'll just say that because some folks be like, no, I want to relax on vacation. I mean, you can do that there too. But I wouldn't pick this hotel if I was just trying to really relax, just keeping it 100. I would really pick this hotel if I was looking to have a turned up lit time because that is exactly what you're gonna have staying here. So that's pretty much it for my um, hotel review of the Rio Montego Bay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there's anything that I missed, make sure you comment below and let me know. If there's anything that you enjoyed hearing about, also comment below and let me know because good feedback is also great feedback, okay? I, I like to know what I'm doing right and also what I could, you know, also include and incorporate in future videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better.